what's up guys? On Twitter and on Facebook, you guys really should follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Because uh, I always put up information on there if you guys are wondering what I'm doing. You're like, oh, that's what she's doing. If you care. So I was going to record the video that I said that I was working on, the Deus Ex um, video. I'm trying to make it... I want to come up with this new series uh, where I talk about... Um, like, I talk about deep issues, like themes, deep themes about a video game, because that's what I'm doing with Deus Ex. Uh, I'm talking about pretty much like the philosophy of Deus Ex, and it's a really interesting topic, at least, at least it is for me. Um, I think I think you guys are going to like it too. Um, I'm not quite sure how to film it though. Huh? Because I was thinking, it, it, it since it is a serious video, and it, it is about big issues and I delve into like ethics and I delve into um, the philosophy of, uh, of Deus Ex and the trans the whole transhumanism idea. I'm not sure if I should film it like this you know face to face where you guys are seeing me or I could also film it, I was thinking of maybe filming it um, kinda like my <sighs> beings of light um, video where you could only hear my voice and you could see pictures on the screen. That one was kind of funny at the same time, like serious but funny with the things that I was putting on the on the screen. In this case it wouldn't have that that humor to it. It would be more, you know, serious, but it would be p the same thing, pictures and and uh cinematics and stuff like that and then you could just hear me uh talking over it. It takes a lot longer to film. So yeah, I was going to film that video right now, but I'm I just wanted to film it just because I was like so that I could put it out already, but I'm not 100% uh, done with it. I would like to add more things and just organize it better so that it's more organized and flows better. So I'm going to wait, I'm going to work on it a little bit more, give it some touch-ups today, and then most likely film it tomorrow. I know I'm back, uh, I'm getting backed up with some of my stuff. The, some of the videos that I had, I have been planning, I've been really busy. Um, my mom's been going through some procedures, so uh, I can't, you know, spend my time filming all as much as I used to. But um, I'm trying to put things here and there. Uh, so things are getting backed up. That's why I said that was a tentative schedule. It's subject to change. But everything that I said I was going to do is going to still be done. It's just being pushed a little bit. What did I do on Easter? I spent time with my family. It was fun. My brother's girlfriend said, we should paint eggs! And we haven't done that in years. Oh my god, we were kids last time we did that. So I was like, hey, why not? Look at the one that I did. <gasps> I'm so artistic. Bang! Isn't that awesome? <laughs> it was done with those little magic markers. It's not really magic. It's pretty much just wax. Um, but it's pretty hard because you paint you, you draw on it with like a little crayon, it's just white. You draw on it and since the egg is white, it's hard to see what you're drawing. So you're just like, what? You're just like drawing blind and it came out really good. I was so surprised. I was like, oh my god! It's the little Mario mushroom. And it says, Yahoo! So yeah, I'm proud of this egg. I don't want to throw it away or anything. It was so funny because there was four of us and my brother was drawing one and I was drawing one and I don't know he was like okay I need red and we're like well there's no red so he was like alright I'll put it in the pink he puts it in the pink I put it in the green I was like alright I can put it in the green because so I was like I need red too because I wanted the red one the red t toad you know like toad and I looked at my brother and I was like, dude, if we drew the same thing, that's going to be weird. <laughs> but it was funny because it turned out that I drew the mushroom, the Mario mushroom, and he drew Mario. <laughs> just out of nowhere. Like, n we didn't even plan it. It was pretty funny. Uh, it just shows that um, not only are we related, but we're both huge nerds. Whatever. I tried to draw a Smurf, and that was a huge fail. It looked like a mixture between Yoshi and... Spongebob or something like that. <laughs> it was so bad. I was like, I thought it was going to look okay, but no. That's pretty much what we did for Easter. We don't really get candy. Like, a lot of people were saying that they were chowing down on chocolate. I don't, we don't do that. We don't get candy. Um, but I did get 
Hell yeah. This stuff is so good. I don't know. I'm so addicted. Okay, th this, there's a, this is a funny story with this stuff. I used to eat this when I was a little kid. I was like seven. And I would eat this stuff every time we'd go to the doctor's office. Because in, in the pharmacy, they, would ha they had it. Um, they had it almost everywhere. But that's where, when I would get it. I was so in love with this. This was my favorite candy ever. And one day, they just stopped selling it. It was just gone. And I was like, why? I was so depressed. And for years, for years, I had been looking for this candy. And I couldn't find it. I was like, they discontinued it. They stopped making it. They just, I would look everywhere. And I was like, oh, that's it. It's gone. Um, and I swear, that I've been, I have been looking for it. Not like constantly looking for it, but just like wherever I would go, I'd look at the candy section and if it, just to see if I would spot it. So I had pretty much given up, but I would still look for it every time I was in the candy section. To this day, I mean, I, I, was, I, I found it. I found it again a few months ago. I found it in a pharmacy. It was pretty funny when I saw it in the pharmacy. After so many years, I think they discontinued it. Maybe when I was like, I don't know, 11 or 12, I stopped seeing it. And um, since then to now, all those years, I'm 28 years old, since then till now, I, I, I finally found it. I saw it a few months ago. I saw it in the pharmacy like that. And I was like, <laughs> it was so weird, the, 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 the sensation that I felt. Like what I, when I saw it, I was like... <laughs> It was so crazy. I had even forgotten what it was called. I just remembered the package. Like, I knew exactly how the package looked, but I didn't remember the name of the candy. It was like a shock moment, you know, where you're just like... Like, your brain is like, oh my god, you are not just seeing that right now. Like, oh my god. And I I, I was a farm, in, the, in the pharmacy, there's like a bunch of people behind me. And I go, oh my god! <laughs> Everybody turns around like, oh my god, what's going on? And I grab like ten of them, just like ten bags. I grab them all, ah! <laughs> and I go to buy them. My mom, my mom was kept on telling me that I was freaking crazy. She's like, "Stop it! Shut up!" <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god, mom! Oh my god!" And um, when I went to buy them, the lady was like, "I had this <laughs> like ten of them," and I was like. And she's like, are these good? And I was like, oh my god. I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, I've been looking for these for like 15 years. <laughs> They're that good? I was like, yeah. So I bought them. I go home. The first one I ate, oh my god. It was heaven. I, I wanted to cry. Like, I wanted to cry. It was those moments where your childhood just like comes back to you. And you feel like this huge nostalgia. And you're just like... Oh my god. Like, it was so overwhelming. It was so overwhelming because it was just like years of looking for this damn candy. And I finally found it. That pharmacy that I found it in was the only one that I, that sell, that so, sells it. I nev I haven't seen it in any other pharmacy. But my brother's girlfriend told me that she they sell it at her store where she works. And I was like, oh my god. And they sell the 15 pack. So I was like... <laughs> So I have to buy like three of those or something because I, I still have that fear inside me that they're going to stop selling them. These are really rare out here, at least in California. They're rare. Because um, they used to sell them a lot back then, but now they're really rare. Uh, so <sighs> I, I bought them yesterday. I bought like three packs yesterday and I finished one already. They're so good. If you guys don't know what it is, it's pretty much a shell. It's a little shell. It's made out of caramel. And it's got milk chocolate, and there's a hazelnut in the middle. And I think the top, this top, is dark chocolate, maybe? I think it is. It's like a little bit of dark chocolate. It's so good. You gotta put it in your mouth and then just let it melt. The whole thing just melt until it's down to the caramel and the hazelnut in the middle. And then you chew it, and it's just like... <gasps> so I just wanted to talk for a little bit and just let you know what I'm doing in the meantime. Um, working on some videos, and I'm also reading The Witcher, The Last Wish, the 
the first book, the one that's filled with a bunch of short stories. Oh my god, that book is so good. If you guys haven't read it, you should. It's so freaking good. Um, I love, I love the writing. And it, the crazy thing is, the awesome thing is that the book came before the games. Um, and I don't think that's ever happened when it comes to video games. Usually it's a video game and then they make books. But this was a book and it did so good that they did a video game. And the crazy thing is that it's it fit it, it fits. Like the video game is perfect for the book. Like the book, especially this one, the one the the last wish, the red one, the one that has the short stories, it feels like a video game because it's almost like missions. Like little missions, right? Because it's different different short stories. But you know, all starring The Witcher. I love the concept that it went from book to game, and they did such a good job about doing that. I wanted to get The Witcher one for my computer. It's nine ninety nine on Steam. Someone told me they were like, "It's for the Mac too," and I was like, "Oh my god!" And I was gonna get it yesterday, but I'm not able to right now because I can't use my credit card online. So what I think I'm gonna do is probably just watch. The Witcher 1 cutscenes on YouTube. Um, I watched the beginning of The Witcher. The beginning of The Witcher is one of the short stories in the book. Um, the, the one with Striga, the, that monster with the red hair. Um, if, you see, if you've played uh, The Witcher, that was the, one of the first short stories of The Witcher, the, the book. And it's, 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 almost, it's almost identical with how, how the fight scene in that short story comes about and it was just so cool to see it uh, to have read it and then see it so I think it's a really good idea to read the books and then play the games because it just gives you a bigger um, understanding and also appreciation for it because it's just it's once you see it you're just like oh my god that's so cool that's exactly what I just read and that type of thing so I'm really really excited to play The Witcher 2 when it comes out on the 17th it's almost here I'm I'm really surprised how excited I am for that game like I didn't think I was gonna be this excited but I'm so excited even after especially after reading the book um, after I'm not done with it I'm not done with the book yet um, I think I'll be done with the, the, the first book, um, or the first short story book, um, before the, the release of the game. I've heard so many good things about it, and it looks so cool. Um, it's it's right up my alley. It's one some of my... I love that whole gothic era, um, and that's kind of what it feels like, that gothic, medieval uh, times uh, genre. And then it's an RPG, and it's just like... But I will be talking more about The Witcher um, in a in a pre in a in a next video in one of my next videos. Not sure when, but definitely before The Witcher Two is released for the Xbox 360. I thought this was going to be really short, just me. <laughs> I never have short videos. You guys should know that already. I just wanted to give you guys a little update. And, but then I got into talking about Easter and my awesome egg and this awesome candy and The Witcher and all that stuff. The thing that I was talking in the beginning uh, about the Deus Ex video, I want to do that for different games too, like delve into the themes of different games, like Bioshock, delve into the themes of, <sighs> oh, Half-Life is another one. Um, those games that, that have a deeper meaning, um, not so, sometimes kind of covered up, but it's there. So I want to do that. and. I'm not sure what I'm going to name that series, because it's, it's, I have no idea what I'm going to name it. Oh my god, I almost forgot. One of my subscribers, um, he's, he's, a, he's pretty awesome. He always makes me laugh with his comments. He, ju he had his birthday on the 8th. I think it was the 8th. I'm pretty sure it was the 8th of April. Super elusive man. Happy birthday. Thank you for making me laugh with all your comments. Okay, so I'm finally ending it. I will talk to you guys later.